All right, let's talk about math. We have a couple of really great resources um, that cover a whole lot of different um, things. This is one of them. This is the Illustrated Elementary Math Dictionary. It is going to explain everything children and parents need in order to have a firm understanding of the basic level of math. Um, it has clear definitions for over 450 key terms, has hundreds of useful examples and illustrations, and there are links to the best math websites that the internet has to offer, all as a part of this book, Illustrated Elementary Math Dictionary. A step above the elementary one, we have the Illustrated Dictionary of Math. This is just a step above that um, elementary one, and there are over 500 definitions of all the key terms and concepts. There are more than 300 useful illustrations and diagrams. There are over 100 worked examples. There is comprehensive cross-referencing and a detailed index so you can look and find exactly what you're looking for. And of course, um, just like the other encyclopedias, this one is internet linked to recommended websites. And um, there are amazing um, other titles in this series. There are illustrated dictionaries for biology, chemistry, and physics as well. Asborn has a bunch of different activity books, and this one is one of my favorites. I can't wait to do it this coming school year. This is graphs and charts, and um, it has all kinds of different um, fun little activities full of puzzles and activities to help children learn how to use graphs and charts. I love how colorful it is. Esborn Books and More has a lot of really amazing lift the flap books to cover different academic subjects. And this um, is one of the ones on math shapes. Um, this one talks about all of the different shapes, the flat shapes, the solid shapes, symmetrical shapes, all kinds of shapes. It also dives into patterns, turns and angles. And then there is a fun little shapes challenge here where you can test your knowledge. And of course, at the end, there's a cool little glossary of information as well. All right, we have got adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing the whole gangs here. Um, these are amazing books. It has, they each have um, 130 to 150 um, flaps to lift, to just really drive these, um, these different math skills home. Um, I love how it, the flaps allow kids to read the problem and then flip it over. There's a lot of visual reinforcing on these um, different math skills as well. It talks about number bonds, using a number line, um, more about numbers, um, word problems, um, how to deal with bigger numbers. There is all kinds of different things. Um, there's fun little money puzzles in here um, talking about um, you know, how to deal with money and adding and subtracting money um, and a lot of fun little math problems here at the end. And same thing goes for multiplying and dividing. Um, going into that subject matter, you can talk about ways to multiply, ways to divide, what does it mean to double things or to half things. Um, wonderful visuals here of the times tables. Um, more on number lines here as it applies to multiplying and dividing. Um, touches a little bit on fractions, which another book dives into more. Um, and then, yeah, all kinds of different things to learn about multiplying and dividing too. We have different Lift the Flat books that dive more specifically into different subjects. We have the times tables, um, Lift the Flap, and also the fractions and decimals. Um, talking about fractions and decimals, the, um, the flap feature is really great for depicting um, how fractions work. So if you see on this one right here, um, you just lift up the little thing right here and you can see how part of the cheese block goes away to talk about um, fractions there. And then looking at how you use different um, name, like naming the, of the fractions, how you sort fractions. There's all kinds of different things in this book as well. Um, there's really great um, word problems that involve 
fractions throughout this story as well and our book as well and then this is super super neat this talks about decimals here and there's this little pull out feature um, talking about the decimal place and um, you know how each of the different columns of the number means something um, there is some um, units of measurement in this book as well um, and it touches on percentages um, all of this amazing and slightly horrifying things for me since math is not my favorite subject um, I'm really glad that we have these books and then times tables I will never forget the horror that I had in third grade when I had to memorize the times tables I wish I had a book like this um, it goes by number um, for you to memorize the um, times tables and what's fun is that there's different stories throughout that um, help you learn each of the numbers so this shark eats eight fish three times a day how many fish does he eat in a day and then there it is the number is right there on the other side of the flap there's a really neat um, resource it's called understand well it's, it's a different series and it's understanding blank <laughs> So this is understanding money, and then there's also understanding economics for those higher level um, subjects that we need to read more into. So let's look at understanding economics. Um, this is all about economics and about um, understanding the choices that we have to make to solve um, the problem of everything. Um, everybody needing things at the same time from people deciding how to spend their time to businesses figuring out how much to sell um, and to um, how go governments choose to run a country. It is all covered in understanding economics. And then on the same note, this is all about understanding money. So um, this is all talking about money, um, understanding things as, such as fair pay um, and um, taxes, interest rates, um, whether or not something is a fair price, what is the Federal Reserve and what does it do? Um, what is the difference between stocks and shares? All of this um, is covered more in depth in, um, in this book. We also have a variety of wipe clean books that cover different math subjects. For example, we have um, wipe clean adding here, and this is for young children just touching on how to do simple addition. Um, there's all kinds of different word activities, simple adding, um, with, of course, super cute illustrations to help along the way. We also have different um, key skills sets, um, and each of them touch on um, some different math subjects. So if you're going to get the, um, the Esborn key skills that is the introduction uh, for um, introduction level, um, it comes with two English and two math, but the math that is covered is subtraction and um, addition. Um, and it's the same thing, it's just kind of having um, different problems to help you learn the um, educational concepts and um, reinforcing the learning of adding and subtracting. Um, and if you do the intermediate math one, you're going to talk about multiplying and dividing um, and then if you go to the advanced math in English one you're going to talk about fractions and telling the time so um, that's another resource that we have these key skill packs are sold um, they're for each of them introduction uh, intermediate and advanced have two math and two English in each one